All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson nine. And in this lesson, students are going to be solving word problems, but they're also going to be talking about combinations of coins. And basically that means if you've got a dime, what's another way you could create 10 cents? Well, you can have two nickels, or you can have a nickel and five pennies, or you could have 10 pennies. And, and that's what we're talking about in terms of combinations of coins having the same value. So let's get started. Another example of this is that you can play a game with your students and have them oh, working in pairs, perhaps. Find all the different combinations of coins that equal, oh, let's say, 15 cents. So let's say, okay, here's our 15 cents, and we want to find all the combinations that equal 15 cents. So one idea might be your classic a dime and a nickel. And then you, your students can label it, okay, or call that one method. Another idea could be to say, well, let's do a dime and five pennies. Two, three, four, five. There's another another option. Uh, let's see. Another way could be to do three nickels. One, two, three. And the idea would be to just let your students play and find all the different combinations that they can find for 15 cents. Keeping in mind that we probably wouldn't care about the order. We just care about the actual number of each denomination of coin. And then just let your students play and have fun and explore uh, mathematics from a real problem-solving point of view. Just an idea. But taking a look at the actual homework assignment, it says here, it says to draw coins to show another way to make that same value. Uh, so it's kind of a bummer. The first thing they do is tell us the answer. Uh, bummer. So we could say that one dime and three nickels is 25 cents. Of course, we knew that because that's 10. Here's 20 plus an extra nickel is 5, so that's 25 cents. So we need to find another way to make 25 cents. And I, gosh, I wish they they didn't, you know, give you the answers. We need, our, we need to let our students solve these things a little bit. But anyway, so what's another way to make 25 cents? <clears throat> Boy, that's easy. 25. Done. Of course, we could have done another thing. We could have said, well, you could do a 10, a 10, and then a nickel. That's another way we could have made 25 cents. And of course, your students have a variety of answers that are possible. So your task, parents and teachers, is to ensure that the students are coming up with one um, correct solution. Uh, there's not just one correct solution, but your students need to come up with one. Um, here's another one, 40 cents. They kind of blow it by get, telling us that it's 40 cents. What's another way to make 40 cents? Well, we could do... Uh, let's see, we could do five, a nickel, and then we could say, well, we need eight of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we, there's our eight nickels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's our eight, because eight times five is 40, although this is second grade, so they don't necessarily know that. Uh, but again, there's a variety of different answers. Just make sure your students has one of those correct answers. So this is more my style. So it says Samantha has 67 cents in her pocket, and we're not, we're, we don't get to see it. And then it says write two different coin combinations that would equal 67 cents. So a classic, 25, 25, there's our 50. A dime gives us 60. A nickel gives us 65. And then two more pennies gives us 67 cents. So that's one way that the students could do it. Another way is to use a bunch of dimes. There's 10. And then you could say 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then we could do, oh, we could do a nickel. There's 65, and then two pennies makes 67. Again, a lot of different possible answers, and we just want our students to come up with two of those different ways to make 67 cents. And the last problem for this video, Chelsea has 10 
dimes, so we want our students to know that that's a buck, one whole dollar. Write two other coin combinations that have the exact same amount, which is a dollar. So one idea could be 25 cents. You could have four quarters. So there's one way to make a buck. Now what's another combination? Well, we could do, we could do um, 25 plus 25, that makes 50, and then we could do five dimes, and, uh, and that would work. So there's five dimes, and so there we go. We've got our 50 plus five more dimes is another 50, and 50 and 50 is 100. So we got a variety of ways, and the real powerful thing about this lesson, parents and teachers, is to let your students talk about all the different answers that they could come up with, maybe use some problem-solving techniques for how can they organize their thinking so that they can be sure they found all of the combinations. So there's a variety of ways you can customize this lesson to um, elevate the level of complexity for your high-flying students, but you can also um, alter this lesson to make it a little easier for your uh, students who are struggling, who don't need quite the enrichment, give them a smaller, like, I really like the idea of saying, okay, well, here's 12 cents. Find all the different ways that you can make 12 cents. And then another student might, you might give that student um, 50 cents. Find all the different ways to come up to create 50 cents. And that way, two students can basically be working on the same problem but you've differentiated by the complexity of that problem. And that wraps up second grade module seven, lesson nine, word problems, but really we're talking about a different combinations of coins that have the same value.